Hi, I'm Brian, this is Mina, and we're going to Hokkaido. Hokkaido is Japan's second largest island, and also its most northerly. As you can see, it comes in a variety of different colors, including green, white with blue spots, purple, lightly rainbowed, and heavily rainbowed. Notable products that come from Hokkaido are its crab. Hokkaido crab come in a variety of different species and they are all delectable. While in Hokkaido, Mina and I plan to gorge ourselves on the delicious sea treat and in the process hope to gain several pounds. Another product that comes from Hokkaido are its flowers, including lavender, rainbow, yellow, and motorcycle. As far as our trip goes, we plan to leave Morioka on August 3rd, drive through the afternoon through Aomori until we reach Oma. Oma is famous for, for its Kuro Maguro or black tuna. Black tuna is very, very expensive, but it is very, very delicious. While in Oma, we plan to eat a large heaping mountain full of this stuff. And thankfully, since they catch it in Oma, it's very cheap, so it's quite affordable. We're going to take the ferry out of Oma, which you can see the line right here, until we get to the city of Hakodate, where we will spend our first night of our vacation. In Hakodate, we plan to eat some crab, hopefully, or if not, some sushi, otherwise, and do a little night viewing from a hill that overlooks the city and the port. On our second morning, we're going to drive up this road, yes I know this is very boring, until we reach the city of Niseko. Niseko is Japan's sports adventure capital. While there, me and I plan to take in a little whitewater rafting for a three hour tour down a grade three and four river, and after that, hit a local onsen to cool off, or warm up, and relax. That afternoon, we're going to drive up the coast until we reach Otaru. Now, Otaru is sort of a quirky place. About 50 years ago, the village elders decided they wanted to imitate, uh, they wanted to imitate an Italian craft village. So they decided to turn Otaru into Japan's glass blowing capital. In Otaru, you can buy, well, lots and lots of glass. Uh, women in Japan seem to think it's a very romantic place because of the Italian architecture and like to go shopping here as well. After we leave Otaru on the third morning, we're going to drive all the way up, all the way north, till we reach the city of Toyotomi. Now, Toyotomi in and of itself is not important to our vacation. The reason Toyotomi is important is because it's near the city of Wakanai. Wakanai is Japan's most northerly city and also the home to obviously its most northerly point in the entire country. Now the most northerly point to us is something important because we, we happen to like doing these special little things. For example about four months ago in January Mina and I went on a vacation to Toro no Seki which is Japan's most easternly point. So now we're hitting the northerly point, which is here in Wakanai. A few activities that we have planned are going to this little circle right here, which is Hokkaido's largest onsen. Now, Mina being Japanese and being female cannot resist the allure of going to Hokkaido's largest onsen. It, it would be impossible for her to resist, especially with us literally going to be driving past the building. So we'll stop there. I'll give her a few hours. She'll dip her little toes into all the different sorts of pools and spas they have inside. And she'll come out smelling smelling probably pretty good. After we leave the onsen, we're going to head up to this circle, which is the Wakanai Suizokukan, or in English, the Wakanai Aquarium. Aquariums are an interesting part, an important part of our relationship. We both like uh, sea creatures. We like looking at sea creatures, and Japan has a, a sort of a special thing about aquariums. Pretty much every aquarium in Japan, and there are quite a few, have a touch pool. Now, 
I love touch pools. I love touching crazy, slimy, disgusting, spiky creatures that roam the deep. Nina, however, being uh, not a girly girl, but being a, a girl, doesn't like bugs and she doesn't like touching sea creatures. She likes looking, but not touching. I, on the other hand, love to get her to touch the creatures. It makes me so happy to see her fight her fears and touch crazy creatures. A couple of months ago, we went to an aquarium and they have something called Ame Fushaku at that aquarium. Ame Fushaku are sea slugs. Now, I don't know if you've ever touched a sea slug before, but they're, they're very slimy and very wet, obviously. They're very interesting looking. They're exceptionally soft. And they're also surprisingly heavy. Oh, come on. Isn't that, isn't that a face that, that only a mother would love? Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. Anyway, a couple of months ago, I got Mina to touch an Ame Fushaku, much to her dismay and terror. But as you can see, she actually got to pick it up. And here's... <laughs> I know. You must think I'm a horrible person. But in the end, really, she actually said... Oh, they're so soft and she quite enjoyed it well I don't know if she enjoyed it but she still loves me so that's something but man look at that that that's my girl man I love her so what's special about this touch pool is that it has crab in it being you know, the theme of Hokkaido of crab but it's not just any crab it's apparently a very very dangerous crab live inside this thing I did a little Google translation and it didn't quite come out so well, so I tried Babelfish, Babelfish, and it came out a little bit better, but uh, well, you'd be the judge. Crab, crab, the substitute which becomes the brutal, the uh, agi. Yeah, not so helpful. So I tried a different translation from a different place in the review I saw of the aquarium. And especially risk to the thing which you think in regard to that crab plays freefully, astronomically is too high. Yeah, yeah la, la, la. the first point is too hateful, probably expedient in order to get wise, no barrel of life is a my pain. After that, about five minutes you watched, but the hero did not appear after all. We would not like to oppose in those where everyone is strong. So, in Japanese, basically, it says that there's a crab in this touch pool and it will pinch the hell out of you if you try to touch it and nobody was strong enough or brave enough to come in the five minutes that the reviewer was there to touch it so that obviously means that I have to spend an hour to get me to touch it and with all luck took it pinched and we we'll both have a very good memory of the occasion anyway moving right along uh, we're going to hit the most northerly point itself which is this red circle right here and that's going to be a very special place for us, but I'll elaborate more on that when I come back. And please watch the return video. So after spending two days in Toyotomi and Wakanai, we're going to head down south again to this city, which is... Uh, I can't read that. And it's famous for Himawari. Himawari are Japanese for sunflowers. There are many, 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 many sunflowers in Hokkaido. And the city that we're going to is apparently famous for them. It has fields of thousands and thousands and thousands of sunflowers. So I'm really excited to check it out.